Should we address the elephant in the room? Our our trembling Festiny Bridge? How is it trembling? We've been out of town. But we've been fighting. They don't know that. You just leaked that. I said, you just seem like you don't want me to be here. I don't and have, which is weird you have the you attitude right me. now. No, you have the attitude and you're projecting it onto me, which is fine. If you're upset, that's okay. I'm not upset at all. I'm chilling. Okay. I'll let you do your thing. Okay. You didn't even drink your coffee. I'm taking this. Yeah, the cup? Okay, have fun. Be careful. Jesus. Why is she in a bathrobe? Are you in a bathrobe today? Um, I'm wearing a cardigan, but I will be unveiling it because I'm having a sale on my OnlyFans Jesus this week Christ. for the first week of Pride Month. Um, there's a subscription sale, so in case anyone forgets, this is my promo for today since you never tagged me. And Destiny will be intermittently looking down at my chest, which will also remind everyone. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll make sure to do that as much as possible, right? Yeah. You can say afterwards, though, like, Jesus, you're boobing out to make yourself to deflect a little bit. How would that be deflecting? Wouldn't I just, just be... noticed that's what you do after you check someone out or me. You say, Jesus, you're boobing out. If I noticed they're boobing out, <laughs> which would usually require me to see their boobs, then I would point out that they're boobing out. Yeah. How's uh, how's today going? Did you do anything fun today? No. Did you do anything fun yesterday? I did, but today my credit card company cut me off. Which one? Carrot. Oh no. I think they're just starting new cards, so... Oh. Yeah. Okay. This won't advance from this screen, right? If I just leave this here? <sighs> Can you tell Farha I said hi? Mehi Jo said that. I don't know who that is. Well, he said hi, so... Destiny... Tell her to promote her new TikToks? Promote Bro, your new TikToks. I'm trying to promote here. What is this? You're the one that always is in the worst spot, okay? I don't know. Damn, Jesus. We need a second camera. Yeah, well, we have three more right there, so. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. I just, we need to make this work. My God. Okay. See, now you can look there and you don't have to say, Jesus, you're boobing out every time you glance down. Yeah, okay. So, are you done? I done what? Gaming. Yeah, I finished my thing. Why are you depressed? I'm not depressed. I'm just hanging out. Tell your dev to make it so that clicking the donation it's button storming, don't right? go to another page, noise? make it immobile instead so that the live keep playing. Wait, what is... Tell your dev to make it so clicking the donation button doesn't go to Did another Did you already page. read that? Wait, read what? The message up top? Wh what? Which one? On your Discord. The giant screenshot? Um, oh, yeah. Why are you reading my messages? You just are advertising it. You're bragging that you're chatting with Mira, my girl. Don't worry my about girl. what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> Don't read my shit! Don't look at this monitor! From now on, your eyes are going over there, okay? Look at this, look at the chat. Okay, you can play games if you want. We can load up D4 for you, okay? You don't need to be spying on my monitor and leaking my personal life details, okay? Um, should we address the elephant in the room? Or our trembling Festiny Bridge. How is it trembling? We've been out of town. But we've been fighting. They don't know that, you just leaked that. I said, should we address the elephant in the room? Well, it's not an elephant unless <laughs> everyone is aware of it. We're aware of it. I don't know if you realize, but they're not actually in the room. I feel like you need a reminder of that. Like we're in the room and I sense the elephant. Just say what you want to say to me. <laughs> I don't have anything to you've say. You've been mad at me. I'm not mad. You've been cold. I'm just... I texted you yesterday and I said, hey, I just got a bike membership. Do you want me to get you one? And you left me on red for like 30 hours. I was busy doing a million things yesterday. I just got back from traveling. Okay, I stream a lot. I just got back from traveling after you. Yeah, but... I've um, been on a freaking media tour. I actually do stuff though, okay? What do you mean? Just what I said. I do stuff, okay? Okay, let's, I don't let's dig into that. What do you mean you actually do stuff? 
What were you doing when I said, do you want a bike membership? I was offering you a bike membership. Well, let's see. I don't know. I don't even remember. What were we doing yesterday? I had 11,000 viewers. We were watching something crazy. No, you weren't. You said you weren't home. You I, and Later, I wasn't home. That was one part of the day, though. I do lots of different things throughout the day. So at one part of the day, I might have been home. Early on, we were but doing But you opened the message. You could have been like, yes, I I'm not. That. I don't open the message. You did. It's no, 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 no. Yes, because I have the, the app. Every time you send me a message, it's instantly read. It wasn't instant. Do you have it set so that it instant reads it 10 minutes later? You liar. You, for, no, it just sits here. I might have tapped through it, but like it's, it just sits here. I would never, I know the game is well enough to not read it on my phone and then not respond because the then you're going to throw a temper tantrum. I yeah. am throwing one. I, I know. So anyways, I had a list of our fights, <laughs> but I've been reflecting on them. Okay, you're going to trigger the f*** out of me. Go ahead. <laughs> And I was thinking about like, why do we fight so much? Like it, okay. it's scary because okay. we yeah. have had like probably eight fights this week. But then I realized, I think you pick fights with me because you miss me and it's a way for us to talk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Am I the one that picks the fights? Um, I say something neutral and then you get really triggered and then you provoke me to fight. You know what I mean? Okay. But then I realized again, you do it to have an excuse to talk to me. Okay. Is that do you want to talk about the last one? Which one? I don't oh, know, what was our most recent I'll one? I'll tell you what the most recent one was. My brother's in town. Um, I'm hosting him in Miami. Mm -hmm. And I hyped up Destiny. I was like, oh, you can meet my best friend, Destiny. He's so cool and charismatic. And then a few nights ago, I knock on Destiny's door. Uh, he knows I'm coming. And then he opens the door one inch, and he's holding a knife. And he goes, what do you want? And I was like, what the f***? Uh, Mel told me I could come by. And then he just shouts to Mel, being like, you didn't tell me people were coming. And then we, we finally walk in. You say, like two and a half words to my brother and then we leave. Do you know how embarrassing that looks for me? That's just the kind of person I am. No, I hyped you Destiny, up so much. Destiny, I don't much. want to pile on. But if you, you wanted to, to, if you wanted to hang out and do something, then why not say that? For instance, yesterday, that a, we don't have to I hang out. We don't have to open the door with a yesterday, knife. Yesterday, why, why, why would you have a knife? Yesterday, because I'm opening boxes. I'm busy working. Okay? But why'd you open the door like one inch? Because I was with you. <laughs> oh. How would that be clear to him? I don't know, because I figure he's a sarcastic you are, so he'd probably assume like, oh, he must just be messing around. He has no, like, basis of who you are. He must, because when I called you one time when you were at his house, he was literally insulting you on the phone. Yeah, so I figured, oh, he must also be like a sarcastic, witty, bantery kind of person. I don't know so how you could be more sarcastic and wittery than me opening the door with a knife. Yeah, of course. You just felt like the white man in Florida next door. defending his abode you just by felt two like brown the, invaders. The what could be Scrooge. more iconic than that? I'm just saying, he, my brother, my family looks down on me. My brother just graduated top of his law class, and I'm like, this is my career. I go to this person's house and we do this, and then that's what you show. Listen. I got him into the gym yesterday. They're gonna yesterday. get me an arranged marriage. I got him into a gym yesterday. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, got him into a gym yesterday, and then I invited you guys both out to eat, and you didn't want to come, even though I extended it. Why would I come, with your content adulterer <laughs> mistresses? Okay, no, I'm let's just talk saying, about I invited that. both of you out to eat, and then you didn't say anything. Like, okay, I guess I don't give a fuck. So don't blame me, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. Okay. Let's. I think this is the reason I was so mad. So um, I left your apartment to go to LA, right? And then I'm at the airport and I see a clip pop up and it's like Destiny and Farha screaming at each other. I'm like, oh, so cute. Uh, I like the video. And then a few hours later, I see something pop up again on my YouTube feed and it's Destiny and Amy screaming at each other. <laughs> the exact title. And I'm like, like something in me broke. Like I'm not a jealous person. Uh huh. I am. But there was something about that. It like brought out the Xena in me. Like I was thinking of yeah. uh, threatening her life Tell on me. chat. Uh -huh. So I click it and first of all, the screaming, subpar. Okay. She just screamed. There was no words, there was no wit. Okay. I don't know what you got out of screaming with her, nothing. Okay. I felt nothing. But then I go to the comments and someone goes, better than fatwa, 30 <laughs> upvotes. So I just feel like if Festiny is gonna move forward together, uh, we need to present United Front. And I think I should get some Orbiter vetoes. Yeah, that's not happening, <laughs> number one. Uh, I number just, two, I feel like you should have just come to dinner last night. Why didn't you come to dinner last night? It would have been so much fun. Why would I come to dinner with the other woman you scream at? Because, first of all, there were. How would you feel if I brought you to dinner with H three H three? That would be a lot of fun. No. I would gladly go to dinner with you and Ethan. <laughs> Absolutely. 
your brother could have come. You could have stayed home. Nobody. Did you at least tell your brother, hey, you're invited as well? Did you even pass no, that I message? No, I said we're boycotting can you this. Give me, um, can you give me his telegram so that I can DM him so that if I pass you like an invite, I know that He's they're not, not like dying with you. He's not on Telegram. Can you he give has me his a text? social life. Yeah, give me his phone number then or his Instagram or whatever. Okay. Fine. Yeah. But anyways, mm -hmm. how did you think that was going to make me feel? The exact title. I you don't know, title my stuff. But you stuff. know what was going to be clipped from that. I don't Screaming. title any of my things. Okay? Two hours after I leave. This chair, you had someone sit in. This was sitting in my apartment for three weeks. You know what? When she came over. I masturbated in this chair. Okay. <laughs> Too much information. Okay. When she came over, do you know what she said? She yeah. said, uh, am I okay to come over in like an hour? And I was like, okay. And you know what the next message I got from her was? It was, I'm downstairs in the lobby. I'm like, wow. Look at that. I didn't have to invite her 30 times. I didn't have to tell her it's okay to get in the Uber. I didn't have to tell her you're okay to enter the Uber. Sounds, she sounds showed rude up, and invasive you know? to yeah, me, does it? honestly. It sounds like a red flag. Do, are, is she in the building right now, just like waiting in the she lobby might be. for you? Maybe. She could be right now. Who knows? And you know what if she was? We do content I'm together. I'm just saying I invented the IRL red pill stream. Did you know? Like, what okay. the fuck was that? Like, why? You could talk about anything. You could do red pill. Keep her on Discord. Why does she have to sit in my chair? Yeah. Also, you took this from my apartment when I was gone. I, it's my chair. Yeah, but you could have said something. I probably you did. You could have cleaned up a little. You could I, have, you know, my Wi-Fi router wasn't working. I did clean working. up a little. Wait, and really? I don't, yes, and I don't have. That's kind of weird. You went to get my chair when I wasn't there and you cleaned up? Well, there were just things on the floor that just drives me crazy. So what'd you do with them? I put them not on the floor. I put them like on the, uh, ca uh the shelf or whatever. Not the shelf, the counter. There. What else did you do? Did you go in my bedroom? Don't worry about what else I did. Okay. Anyways. So you, you have no apologies or anything? Nope. Any other fights you want to go over? I'll go over every single one if you I'm want to. I'm just saying all these bitches live in my shadow and you know it. Yeah, do they? They're coming for my crown. Okay. Amy Friday? That doesn't even make sense. Amy, her name is um, Dangerfield. Danger, there's no day of the week that starts with D. Next. Okay. Who's next? Um, Who's the next alliteration Lauren. orbiter? What are you going to do with that? I don't know. We'll see. Where's the L? Lauren... Uh, I can't think of any other words to start with that. You're, you're doing this to get my attention because I've been traveling so much. Well, maybe you need to, uh, maybe you need to be more committed to the stream. I am. You, like you could call in while you're traveling. Why would I do that? Well, what else are you doing when you're sitting in your Airbnb, staring at the wall, trying to figure out how the the Japanese Planning my says, next yeah? fight with you. Okay. Making lists. Okay. I made one on the way over. Oh, cool. With all of our fights, what other things do we fight about? You said some really controversial things about the Holocaust, which I'm not going to bring up. Okay. But, uh, um, I would bring them all up publicly. Me and my good friend Myron apparently talk about that all the time. So What do you mean? He's been on a tear lately. <laughs> if you're going to reference things, can you like explain them to me? I'm, I don't. Oh, sorry. Like, I thought because you were talking about like the Red Pill 50 times, I thought you would be up to date them to the most like important I pressing news that's been happening. I just don't see you as an integral part of Red Pill news. It's not about if me. Rolo it's about Tomasi Myron. And I am an integral part. Said something. I have destroyed the Speaking entire Red which, Pill movement. Okay. Just letting you know. But. Critically acclaimed godfather of the Red Pill. Mm -hmm. uh, you might recognize him. He's in the foreword of Why Women Deserve Less by Myron Gaines. Yeah. Rolo Tomasi wants the smoke. Okay. He's been tweeting about me nonstop. Wow. If you want, we could drive down to the studio where they're probably going to be doing a show in an hour. Are we going to react to that? I just don't understand why he's so obsessed with me. Can you pull up his tweet on screen? Pull up his Twitter. Is there a way to search? I don't think he put my name, actually. God, I love how he's called Rational Mail. He's just like... God, this guy tweets forever. Or a lot. What am I looking for? Do you have deodorant? Why? I smell. Then it's well. Then it's too late for deodorant. You can probably check my bathroom. Don't, why don't you just put some on after you take a shower? Um. How old are you? <laughs> no, I usually do, but. I feel like I had this conversation with Nathan like two years ago. My bathroom is my kid being is twelve years shared old at the moment, so my oh, schedule is Oh, so your is deodorant is off. locked off from you? A little. Okay. I mean, it's in my bathroom if you want. Okay. Or you just brought it up just to say something? You're just so in love with the sound of your own voice that you'd... I thought maybe you'd have it on you. Okay, scroll. Why would I have it on me? You guys fighting again. No. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. You gotta get going. What am I looking for? Me! Can... What are you doing? Uh, you told me to scroll up. You're falling up. for his thirst traps. There's me. I don't care. Scroll. This is about me. This is my first big beef. I'm just looking at this... Yeah, bar. why? Can you scroll down? What am I scrolling me. for? Me! Okay. You've seen it. You've sent it to me. Look. 
Look at this. Scroll up. Up? There's many, but. Oh. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this. I got a text from one of my employees saying, is this true? Mm -hmm. Did you fuck Justin Waller? <laughs> and I was like, no, I just don't understand this tweet. Like, why would he tweet this? Well, is it it's true? It's not even him. It might, is it true? He's cucking. He's baiting. She didn't say no. So anyways, wait, is what true? Don't worry about it. Did I fuck Justin Waller? Too late. You already, the ship has sailed on your okay, chance to down. answer that. Okay, scroll down. Keep going. There's more. Keep going. Wait, is this the same tweet? Yes, keep going down. Man, he really... Wait, keep going. Why do you scroll? I don't like the way you scroll. What do you want me to do? Just press the arrows. You're skipping over like half the page each time. No, you don't skip over half the page. It goes page by page when you click the bar on the side. Oh, okay. Look, did you see me? See, you keep missing it. Why are you doing this? Because you're going to get distracted? Click it. He Look how stalkery he is. He found me just to find Angela liking my post. That's crazy. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he wrote busted. Busted. Like, isn't, doesn't that seem like satirical? I mean, birds like seems, of a feather flock together. Like, it seems like he's doing a bit, like trying to show like, oh, I'm crazy. Look, I found something on this girl. Keep going down. There's one more I saw. Look, that's me. Wow. Look at the caption. I'm curious how one cultivates traditional values in a modern society with friends who pretend to be virgins on OnlyFans to prostitute themselves to the incels you claim to hate. First of all, let's assume I'm faking virginity. What kind of, like, this is such a stretch of a tweet. Is it? Could she, wait, click her channel thing again? Isn't that a stretch? What? To say, like, to debunk her because she liked my thirst trap? Well, how can she cultivate traditional values when she's friends with virgins on OnlyFans that are trying to <laughs> prostitute themselves to the incels? But, like, also, what did that photo of me have to do with anything? Is Like, I have way more risque photos. Well, this is the most recent one where you were being a... Th being a what? Being a bad influence on men in today's society. Were you going to say thought? No, why would I say that? Because that's what you think. No, hi. He called me a thought. No, I didn't. Don't let him like fuck you. He told me if I Can wear this home? in debates, no one's gonna take me seriously as a woman. I didn't say yeah. that. Are you doing a Mr. Girl? Are you gaslighting? Yep. Have fun, be careful. I love you. Don't die. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Go! What's up? We have to get to fucking church. We have to go to church. Wait, we have to get to church now? Yes! We're rushing. Oh. Hold on, guys, we gotta get to church. Hold on. Wait, I can't. The church bus is coming to get us. Okay, we don't have to watch this. Let's go. I'm gonna see what's going on. Stop. What? Because this isn't. What do you think about these guys? I don't know. Close out. What do you think about this guy? Seed release ritual. Oh, my friend Erudite. What do you think about this guy? Hold on. What do I mean? Hold on. The Me Too shit test. And talk to her. If you don't know how, smash that like button and give me a follow. Women invented Me Too to filter out losers. What do I mean by that? Simple. Anyone who believes the Me Too rhetoric becomes someone who's too scared and too timid to approach and talk to women. And someone who is too scared and too timid to talk to women, by definition, is a loser. Fortune favors the bold, my friends. Don't believe the rhetoric. The Me Too movement is just one big giant shit test. If you see a girl you like, by all means, go up and talk to her. If you don't know how, smash that like button and give me a follow. God, that was awesome. What I do you think wanna, about that? I don't care. I don't want to stalk his Twitter. Okay. You sure you don't want to read anymore? I'm trying to air out. What do you think about this fit? Someone kept saying in my comments he looks like some guy. I didn't know who it was. Um, do you know who I'm referring to? Brett something? Oh. Okay. Who's that? I that was kind of the question. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see what else you said to me this week. You seem sad. I'm not. I'm just trying to be careful. I'm chilling. I'm in a good Why? I just want to have good interactions, you know? Why? I sent you a text. <laughs> I'm just chilling, okay? Is that okay? Can we just chill? Can we just, like, be respectful of one another and have good conversations? Is that possible? I hate this. Why? What do you mean? 
That's right. So this is how it's going to be. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I haven't figured out anything I want to attack you yet for, you know? I'm just waiting for you to air your grievances. and then No, we even when I came in, your energy level was low. <laughs> because I, I've... Look, I've been streaming for six hours, okay? I have been go, go, go the whole past week, all right? I've been, you know, pedal to the metal, working hard. I see you found a new pair of glasses. Good job. I took my brother's sunglasses and... <laughs> and popped the frames out? Yeah. Nice, okay. He wasn't happy about it. I think he doesn't respect what I do for a living. Yeah, the glasses part of <laughs> the, the glasses part. and like you and the knife and all of it. Okay. Yeah. Is he worried when you said you were coming over here? No, he asked if he can come and I said no. Why? Um, because he's worried about his character and fitness for like becoming a lawyer, and I was like, I don't think this is the scene then. That's like character and fitness is like getting a fucking felony. It's not like shows up on an edgy live stream. I don't know. He should know. Didn't you say he graduated, like, come Lodi or whatever of his fucking class? Shouldn't he know if he's well, going to get trouble? what if they like him more than me? And now I have okay. to compete with there him. There we go. Gotcha. What if a clip of you guys screaming at each other gets posted? The superior Khalidi. All right. He is. I actually, I do live in his shadow. Yeah? Yeah. There's so many shadows going on. Okay. Um, anything else? You're contributing nothing. Uh, well, I'm waiting for you to go. Look at this. Jesus Christ. I came with a list of all our fights. <laughs> Why would you write that much? <laughs> Okay, well, what's the next one? I'm so mad at you in the moment. I write yeah, all my I thoughts. Clearly, Gee, I I'm know. Like, don't no, worry. You piece of shit. That's not what that means. Because you think I'm too brutal in our fights because my tone. So now I just journal it, <laughs> and then I'll say it when you're more tempered. Uh huh. Um, but you still seem sad. So this feels like kicking, I'm not sad. I'm kicking I'm someone not, when they're down. You can't kick me when I'm down. You wouldn't even be able to kick me. Okay, I move like lightning. Okay. I just need the energy to get up because otherwise it just feels mean. Like there's so it's many. It's not mean. You couldn't be mean to so me. You don't even have the potential. There's that I targeted at you. They're very personalized. <sighs> just say go. No. Or if you want, we can take a break and watch this ABBA video. So it's up to you. I didn't come here for this. I didn't realize you didn't see any of the stream last night. Oh, can you catch me up on the drama? Yeah, you'll get caught up in nine minutes. Here you go. Oh my God, these guys are fresh and fit. Might be done. Okay. I didn't realize that when. Fresh Wait, do you know who Abba and Preach are? Yes, they've like called in while we're streaming. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, I'm being polite. I don't want to watch a nine-minute video. Then, how, I'm, then I'm not going to catch you up on what's going on. <laughs> okay, what else do you want to talk about? I don't want to talk if you're going to be sad. I'm not sad. You're, you've, in your mind, you've decided I am. So now no matter what I say or do, you're just going to pretend that I am. I'm just chilling. You're waiting for me to talk. And I said you don't have to do that. For, okay, you said I have a list of things. And I was like, okay, well, then you can read your list. I don't have a list of things. So if you go through your list of things, then I can respond to them. And then we can watch things or argue about things or move on to the next phase of the whatever. What do you mean the next phase? Well, I figure you've got a list of things. Once you read your list of things, you're done. It's like, okay, well, now we're going to move on to the next thing where we watch something, talk about something, react to something, so argue about something. you're waiting for my list to be over. My list means nothing. If your list meant nothing, then I would say we should skip the list. That's what you just did. Well, no, because you asked me to catch you up on what was going on. And I don't no, know. No, I said that after you started playing it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Gaslight detection. That is not true. You asked me what was going on, and I said we can watch this nine-minute video to explain it. You Why? opened this. F you said if you don't have anything, I'm going to put on this ABBA video. Yeah, and then afterwards you were like, oh, well, can you catch me up on what's going on? I was like, well, we can watch this if you want, and then I, I started to play I don't watch things. Why can't you use your words? Isn't because this like I don't even know talent? what the most recent thing was. This is not, This is just released one hour ago. There I might don't be know anything about this. Okay, Fresh and Fit did a big nuke video on ABBA and Preach. That was them debunking Abba and Preach's lies. And uh, it was just Myron in a wig, dressed up, running around the studio, screaming for two hours. Why? To make fun of Abba and Preach. But why don't they like them? I'm asking like, what the root is. Uh, because Abba and Preach were invited, or well, Abba went to Fresh and Fit's studio to do an interview, but then afterwards, Abba and Preacher made videos on Fresh and Fit and some of the stuff they say. So Fresh and Fit, Fresh is like, Myron is like, well, I can't believe that you would make videos on me after I invited you into my home. Oh, okay. I mean, if you really, okay. We don't have to watch it. That's the catch up. But if you have something else you'd rather do, let's go. What else? I don't know. I just thought you wanted to talk to me. 
I do. I'm waiting for you to get through your list so it we can talk like, about what's on your like list. It seems like you just want to do this, so <laughs> I can go back and, you know. Yeah, and hang out with your brother no, who wasn't allowed to come here. Journal more about how much I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep going down your list. Go. You know what else is embarrassing? Tell so me. So when I told my brother, I was like, "Yeah, there's." Uh, so like obviously you guys spoke on the phone whatever that one time mm -hmm. and then I was like yeah we're gonna like start something like a show thing and then he was just like oh yeah I was reading the reddit like they really don't like you okay well it depends on which thread he leaves he talked about the balcony it. he's like what is this balcony thing and he was like who is Xena <laughs> so my family's ashamed of me isn't that like par for the course though or isn't that what isn't that normal like I think they're more ashamed of me than the typical Muslim family needs to be of their sex worker daughter. <laughs> okay, well. But um. This is your ladder out of the sex work world. Is this successful podcast? It's your ladder out. I like have a successful OnlyFans because I already have another platform. I don't know why you always act like I only have an OnlyFans. Do you think most people can make as much money I do on OnlyFans if they didn't have another platform? Like even when we fought the other week, you were like, "You're just a 23 year old OnlyFans girl." I. That's how you see me. I don't even know if you're joking right now. I can't tell, actually. I have no idea. So you're not going to respond? No, you're because I don't know if you're serious. Because I don't know if I say this now, if later on you're going to be like, well, when you said this, I know you were serious, and I fucking hate you for it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I was just joking myself. So I'm not going to hate you regardless, because that's called love. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, where I come from, white families in America don't show love in the hateful ways like that, okay? We're actually nice and decent towards each other. That's what you do when you don't care about somebody. No, that's my way. You, you just be nod you along because you don't want to engage. Nobody said about nodding along. That's I what you're engage. doing to me right now because now you're indifferent towards I'm me. not indifferent. And I don't know why. I, I really think it's because I've been traveling too much. I feel like you're like this housewife who's like mad at me and you're, you're giving me like the cold shoulder for my business travels. Go down your list. But the list isn't fun if you don't engage. I am ready to engage. There's nothing to engage in on the last thing. Was there? What was the last thing? Remind us. Amy. <laughs> what am I supposed to engage with on that? You're supposed to be like, shut the fuck up. She's better than you. I hate you. Why would I do that? Because if that's how you feel, I want to know. <laughs> I don't compare friends that way. That'd be rude. Oh, so we're just equal friends? Yes. Are you serious? Uh, what Can do you, you want me to say? Can you meet this person? <laughs> I don't rank my friends. That's so inappropriate. Do you rank your friends? What am I, what am I, what, where am I at on the ladder of friend ranking? You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're my best friend too. Okay? But you don't mean it. I do mean it. You looked away while saying that. You're my best friend. <laughs> okay. I don't mean that, Amy. Like okay, also, when you were with her, uh -huh. you were reacting, I saw a clip that Angela posted on TikTok where you're reacting to um, them talking to MLD. And you're, he was like, you were like, oh, he called uh, my friend Far, or he called Far a ho. Mm -hmm. That's one of my friends. You said it so embarrassed. Like you were ashamed to be best friends with me. And you were hiding me as that's your a best wild, friend. That's a wild, that is a wild interpretation. I just didn't like being called one of your friends. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, sorry. You're being hostile. I'm, I thought you just said I was being sad and indifferent. Now I'm being hostile? It's all the same. You told me to come here. Yes, because you have a list. Go ahead. You didn't know I had this. No, I thought we were gonna watch this and then watch the valuetainment thing or figure out things to react to or read or go over. Yeah, we'll figure something I out. I literally said, do you have things you wanna react to or should I come with things? What did I say? You said, uh, I have nothing, little cute face emoji. Which means I probably assumed you were going to and you did, so good job. What's your next thing on your if list? If you want me to leave, I can leave. <laughs> if I want you to leave, I'd tell you to leave. No, you wouldn't. What's a, yes, I would. What's the next thing on your list? Have you been like this all day? This I'm feels fine. personal. I'm totally fine. I've been happy and joyful. I'm still happy and joyful. I went through your TikTok okay. on the way here. Yeah. Brain rot politics. Okay. And I made a list of things I disagreed with. Okay. That I thought we could talk about. All right. But I don't want to talk if you're going to look at me like this. Okay. 
I think you're sad for some reason. I don't know why. And now you're pro- oh probably because you missed out on a fabulous dinner last night. And now you're projecting that onto me. And so all you can see is your no, own. No, I went for a 60-minute bike ride with my new City Bike Miami mm-hmm. membership. All you're doing is projecting your sadness onto me. So I need you. That was I was pretty sad. I don't know why you couldn't say like, oh, that's such a sweet thing to offer. What's a sweet thing to offer? An annual membership. For City Bike Miami. Were you offering me that? I thought you told me to buy one myself. No. Are you sure? You can pull it up. It was very nice. God damn it. I don't know how this shit works. Anyways. Yeah? You cleared our messages? No, you cleared our messages. Why don't stop projecting? Where Where is it? I don't know. You cleared them. I can't clear them. Or if I did, these wouldn't be here. Why, was Amy here and you had to hide my existence? You had to clear my telegram messages? No, she, she's too cool to care about stuff like that. <laughs> I can't believe this. What, okay, what did you say? You don't even know, the conversation with Amy last night was so enthralling, you can't even remember. I said, Look, it's right there. Okay, you said, I just bought a city bike membership for the year. You should buy one too. Read the one under it, you piece of shit. Then you said, or I can get one for you. That cute is emoji, like, cute emoji. Yeah, but that's like guilt tripping me. No, I You're like saying like, oh, you should do this. Or I guess I can if you're like too much of a brokey f- too. That's what that reads like. I know you're too much of a brokey fuck too. I know you're mad at me because you had to pay then my brother's gym membership yesterday. Why didn't you just yesterday? buy me one? Yeah, oh yeah, and then you already know I'm having severe financial difficulty, okay? I offered to And buy then you're you. like, oh, here's my brother. Can you uh, get him into the gym? And I'm like, I can, but it costs money. And you're like already running away. You, you did and then not your brother's say that. like, they're like, ooh, this is not really say awkward. That. When you took me to the gym, it was free, so I thought it'd be free. Okay. So I said, oh, my brother wants to go work out, and then. Is that also, what they told you when you were at the leasing office? You can just bring whoever the fuck you want into the gym for free? When you brought me, they did not ask for money. I that's because I've guests. got a special connect. So then why didn't you get it yesterday? Because that's for only the night shift. Okay. The lady likes me there, okay? I don't know. It the, was a guy. And not the last time. Okay. <sighs> okay, what else? Stop doing your Instagram sigh, okay? We don't need that right now. What's your next thing? I don't like this. You're scrolling a lot. Just read it. Go. Because you're making me anxious. Why? You're different today. I'm not. Listen, there's two people. The only way that I can maintain my schedule is I have a twin brother and we trade costumes every day, you know? Sometimes he's me. Sometimes I'm him. So anyways, I made a list of things you said on Brain Rot Politics that I thought were okay. shitty rebuttals. Yeah. But I don't know if that's interesting if you're not going to be interesting well i think your the fight list was more interesting but the brain road politics thing is interesting too but it feels weird to move on from one and not finish it the fight list yeah this is the fight list it's just these five things yeah it's not that interesting do it or do the brain road politics whatever you want go ahead these people are dying to hear your list they're like getting triggered slash vote do you want to hear the fight list yes or no Look at him. Look at him go. 75%. I just want us to work on our friendship in this moment right now. I think that needs to be addressed. Okay. I just, can you just get is it Is this what our chest? podcast is going to be like? Just an hour of... No, because you're, you're carrying some anger with you. I'm not! I'm totally fine! You are projecting you, your own demons onto me right now, okay? You haven't been talking to me as much the past week. I don't know if For the past like three days, Amy I just got or home. Of our I've been busy. I've been going out. You're always busy. I've been yeah. That's my life. I am always busy. But we usually talk. It just depends. You're on what's usually going like, on. how was your day? And I'm like, 
shut up and then we have like a little back and forth but now you don't ask now i ask how's your day and you say i'm okay and i literally invited you to dinner last night and you were like you didn't even answer i was like okay because you wanted to humiliate me <laughs> you were cucking me content cucking me okay what are we going to talk about at dinner what do i have to say to her i a hate anything you? i don't know you guys are both then on fresh and fit you could bond over that experience you're both foreigners She's from Australia. I was born here. You guys have so much in common. English second language. She <laughs> speaks Australian. You speak whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No. Is this how it's going to be? Whenever I'm gone, you just have someone sit here? <laughs> Am I supposed to be on stream alone the entire time? It's just, I've, I just, I don't, I didn't see this happen before. Like, who Were there like three people on the same day you were here? Yeah. But I only saw that screaming clip. Oh. The next girl that comes on, I'm gonna have her wear fake glasses I too. I flew out 3,000 miles to meet you with no prior conversation. I risked my yeah, life. That was the dumbest Even thing you, I've ever when seen. You, picked me up, you were like, uh, yeah, this was kind of sketchy. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty bored. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I'm just saying, I vetted you for all these women to okay. now fly. Well, maybe they here vetted me safe. too. What do you mean? They vetted me too. I'm they just saw I you. Was the first it's one. like what the Red Pull guy say. It's social proof. So since you're here, they're like, oh, he must be a cool guy. So they all come exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't like that. Oh, well. I didn't social proof you for them. I you, did it for me. You can't social proof somebody for yourself. I just think they lack balls. Okay. But you're the one that's too scared to read your list. I showed you my list. I, you don't have to show me. They're the ones that want to hear about it. Oh, is that what we're doing today? Pick up phone. Scroll Just twice. tell me why you're mad. I'm not mad. Then why don't you talk to me anymore? I do. No, you don't. You don't. I think I do. Yeah, definitely. No. <laughs> just be honest. You know you don't. I what do. What did I do? I just got home from a trip. I've been busy. I've been working. Oh, okay. I think I know what it is. Okay, tell me. So basically, Dusty and I were talking last week, and I was telling him um, that I wanted to ask him something about human rights philosophy, and I was saying that, like, uh, how do you come up with, like, a secular conception of human rights? Because usually religious people will say, like, oh, the reason that, like, we need to value rights, human rights outside of political rights or, like, nationally enforced rights is because people have a soul and there's, like, something transcendent in each person that's, like, bigger than just, like, political forces and like economic agenda right so i was like what would be like your secular rebuttal to that since you told me you don't believe in souls mm -hmm. right so you were like i have such a great answer to this we should yeah i don't think i said that you were on. like we should talk on the phone about this though because this is a really long conversation i was like sure let's do it sometime this week though because uh -huh. we weren't in miami i think and so we put it off every day and then we finally talked on the phone and you had nothing Mm -hmm. And it like took like three hours to make this phone call. You were like, stay up. It, I'm going to be in Wales. It'll be like probably like 4 a.m. your time. So I think it was like 12 a.m. <laughs> your time. And for some reason, I caught you on the only two days where you decided to go to sleep before six in the morning. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I finally called Oof, you after one of those nights. You you lie so much, actually. I'm just realizing this. One of those nights I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be up in 15 minutes and we can chat. Guess what happened in 15 minutes? You didn't even say goodnight. You ghosted the fuck out of me. I fell asleep. I'm sitting up in my bed in Wales, okay? Sheep everywhere, screeching <laughs> on the outside, desperately waiting for you to answer my DMs. And then I just sit there for hours crying while yeah. you're just sleeping at like 11.30 no, no. p.m. So, okay, in LA with this all is your also, new cooler friends. This is such a girl mind, but uh -huh. like I woke up the next day. I was like, shit, I fell asleep. We were supposed to talk on the phone. I expected some spam. I expected you to be like, oh my God, this is so sad. You sent me one text. You're like, hey, I should be ready in about 15. And then that was it. You didn't follow up. You weren't because like, Because you didn't up. read the text. Yeah, but like. I knew you were sleeping. But if you sent more, the, the ringing would have woken me up. That's what I would do. It's not Top Gun 2. I'm not trying to get tone on your phone to fucking wake you up from your sleep, okay? That's it not just my job. Like you didn't care. Because <laughs> you didn't spam me. So, anyways, we finally talk on the phone at like 2 a.m. I'm staying up and you had nothing to say. And I said, that's it? We had, a, we had to have a phone call for this for, for nothing? And then you told me I was very mean in that phone call. Okay. Should we rehash that? Sure. 
What was mean? What was? What did I say? Here that was, was mean? the phone call. So the problem is Farha decided to have a debate with somebody with absolutely no philosophical background, and she's debating a guy who's like a literal fucking end cap, the big Papa Fash guy. And then she messages me, and she's like, "Yeah, I realize that maybe it's not a good idea to jump into calls with extremists if I don't have a single philosophical grounding for any position I whatsoever." And then she's like, "Where do you get your ethics from, if not God?" And I'm like, "Okay, well, we should have a phone call and chat about this because I don't feel like fucking typing a million fucking things for this." And then essentially, I explained that for my like foundation of views, I usually use some kind of like reciprocated value social contract esque system, right? You respect my rights, I respect yours, and then I kind of like extend it to all society, and that's where my rights come from. And she's like, Oh, okay, well, I didn't say that's I don't not have very a, okay. satisfying. First like, of all, you mean you can't even tell me an objectively true reason why it'd be bad for Hitler to kill Jewish people? And I'm like, No, I don't think there are objective okay, morals. She's like, Oh, well, that's not very satisfying then, because if I argue and somebody believes in God, they're just going to say that God is way better than your shit ass fucking <laughs> bullshit fucking <laughs> retard fuck system. And I'm like, Okay, well, I'm sorry. Like, maybe you should go fucking worship a lie or some shit then, if that's your feeling. It's like, Oh, now you're just going to make fun of me and say that I need to be fucking religious. Religious, but that's what you did to me no, for like an hour first on the of all, phone. You just said I have no philosophical basis for anything, and now they're making fun of me. That's not true. I literally just said it for a conception of human rights. If you're not going to believe in soul, what are you going to say for like, even if it's in the economic interest of a country to maybe uh, suppress some people's human rights? What would be your rebuttal? I didn't say like I have no grounding for anything. So you're making me sound stupid. And then you were like, listen, if you just want First some- First of all, that is exactly what the conversation was about because you said you didn't feel like you had a philosophical underpinning for where rights come from. That's not doesn't make you stupid. That's just a, what you said. I said to compete with a conception of God or to compete yes. with the idea of like yes, co- which is a foundational compete. underpinning I said to of rights. Compete with uh, consequentialism. No, you much. didn't say that. No, because basically, yeah, consequentialism. Because they're saying even if it's in the best interest of most people to do something. Um, and you can't give me a basis of human rights. And where I say, like, I think there is a basis of human rights separate from political. And they said, well, if you don't think they come from God, like, where is it going to come from? So then I said, like, what would you say? And then you said, oh, you just want a system of ethics to feel good. And I said, that's not true at all. And then you were like, yeah, you're only vegetarian. Vegetarians are only vegetarians You're looping so good. many fucking arguments together. You That was the same, co- I wrote it down Yeah, together. I know, because you start jumping around like, oh, well, what about, because I said that at the end of the day, people are looking to satisfy whatever personal values or preferences they have. And you're like, well, no, some people do things even though they don't want to do no, them, like be you, vegan. No, and I'm like, but up, you don't do you that. You brought it up veganism first. You're like, veganism, uh, like vegans, they come up with like a system of ethics so that they can feel good, saying like, no, oh, well, I'm so good for fulfilling you this. You know, I offhandedly mentioned vegans because they're, you're like, oh, so your only foundational values that you just happen to like value human life and i'm like yeah i mean it's basically the same as like vegans except they value all sentient life instead of just human sentient life and then and then you went off into the vegan thing yeah because you said vegans are only vegans to feel good after you brought up like well aren't vegans an example of people that are doing things that doesn't feel good in order to be vegan i'm like well no because the satisfaction you brought it up first i i brought it i didn't bring up that they only do things because it feels good i just brought it up um as an example of like comparing and contrasting because i said they have like their own consistent version of ethics and you said yeah to feel good oh well ultimately yeah because foundation that's what it all is yes but i don't think that's true Okay. Because I was saying, I don't think feminists are happier. Like, everyone says feminists are sadder. I think mm-hmm. a lot of vegetarians are sadder because if you genuinely think that, like, there's this really bad thing happening, you're not going to feel good just feeling like you saved 100 animals that year. You're going to feel sad feeling like there's so many else out there that need to be saved. So, but you made it sound like people only care about ethics to feel good. And I, I don't feel like that's the case. Okay. But and I then just, I said that if that's what you feel and you've got some objectively true foundational grounding for your ethics, then go solve meta ethics. I don't know why you're talking to me, some loser fucking YouTuber on the phone. Have you solved ethics? No, but I'm saying, why did that phone call? Then later you were like, you were very harsh, critical, brutal on that phone call. Because, well, because that was a different fight we had. <laughs> no, but you referenced that fight. Yeah, because it was, because saying, it was relevant was the to the... With, yeah, it was, yeah, so I'm saying, why was that fight? Well, there was nothing wrong with that particular argument. But it was in the context of the other argument, then there was something wrong with it. So your feelings change depending on whether you want to like win an argument? Like no. you're fine with the conversation until later, then you're like, you were mean in that fight, by the way. No. If you bring up a problem that you have, it will make me recontextualize a prior conversation and make me feel a different type of way about it. For instance, let's say that you come here and we're joking around and you're like, oh, and I'm like, oh, I hate brown hair. And you're like, oh, well, I wish that all blue hair people would get the rope. Fuck you. And I'm like, okay, and it'd be funny. Then let's say later on, a week later, we have a conversation and you're like, I really don't like it when you make fun of my brown hair. That actually is super offensive to me. And then I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, well, now I feel kind of weird about you making fun of my blue hair. That, do you see how I could recontextualize like the prior disagreement we had? I'd be like, okay, well then I feel differently about this conversation. I guess. I guess I wouldn't feel the same way. What do you, I would say you're a hypocrite, but it wouldn't make me now feel sad if my blue hair was I didn't say I feel attacked. sad. I just said it would make me view that prior conversation in a different light. 
I guess I'm just confused. Cause what part of that is confusing to you? Let's focus without, because I know you want to talk to 50 minutes. Let's focus on that one example. What part of that would be confusing to you? Because half the time you say I should be more combative. You say, whoa, 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 see how you're branching out to other thing? Just in that particular example, what is confusing about that particular example? Okay, this is me summarizing what I think you oh, just God. said. What? Okay, yeah, go ahead, summarize it. Okay, so you're saying if I say I don't like when you insult my brown hair, but then you say, well, you also insult my blue hair, I wouldn't, okay, let's flip it. So let's say you say, <laughs> it's hard because we're using examples rather than the actual thing. Nope, it's super easy. I'll reframe it. No, I get you it. and I are having a fight. Yeah. Or no, we're having a play fight. And I'm like, I don't oh, like your examples, brown hair, yeah. your brown hair is so gross. And then you're like, well, I hate your cuck blue hair. And it's, haha, it's a joke. Then a week later, you're like, I really don't like it when you make fun of my brown hair. That would make you feel a lot differently about our prior thing because one, now it seems like our prior play fight was a real fight. And then two, now I don't know when you attack my hair, now you like mean that as like a serious insult because I see that it, you take it as a serious insult. Oh, I guess that's my point is like, I wouldn't recontextualize and be like, oh, that means both sides of it were aggressive. I would just say it as like, oh no, I was clearly joking. Like but whether how, but you if don't see it as joking doesn't affect whether I was joking or not. No, no. If you're telling me that you don't see what I was saying as joking, then I would assume that you weren't joking because that would make sense for you to be joking. Okay, I, like I said, I don't think these, these examples are... Sure, let me repeat it one more time. <laughs> you and I are on stream. I say, I hate your brown hair. And you're like, ha ha, I hate your blue cuck hair. Okay? I understand a this. Week later, okay, wait, wait, wait. You keep saying I don't understand the example, but the example is very basic. It's very easy to understand. You I should be able to understand I don't exam this. understand the example. I'm saying I don't think the example... Uh, is analogous to what we were talking about. Oh, do you want to talk about what we were talking about? Uh, no. <laughs> I want to know okay. whether you're mad at me. I don't care. If you're still mad at me about I'm not that, mad. you can I'm say fine. that. I'm fine. I haven't been mad at all. I'm chill. You're mad, though, and you're projecting your madness. I'm hurt. Yeah, thank you for admitting that. And you're projecting your hurt onto me. I'm not hurt. I'm big chilling. I feel like we need, like, an icebreaker. We just had an hour conversation. But now I feel like we're in a worse place. Okay, do you want to have a nine minute icebreaker? Should we go for a bike ride? No. <laughs> um, should we have a what? Nine minute icebreaker? Sure. Okay. Realize that when Fresh and Fit put out that live stream and said they were gonna nuke our channel, they just ended up nuking their own? I don't know why Myron did this, but he decided to go on Sneeko's live stream on Rumble. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl still, oh, you have to wear that too. Yeah, of course. How am I gonna break this down if I'm not in my proper attire as a race? Bro. All right, Jesus Christ. Over, okay, I'm moving over. You fucking change, you see out of that, you fucking sand nigga. But it's okay. White supremacist sand nigga. Shut up. You're a bro, you're the worst of the worst. You eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy. In Asia. Yeah, true. Pause right. This nigga right here is funny. He's funny, this nigga. Yeah, I don't condone this N word. Oh. Shut up, you Albanian fat. <laughs> keep running the clip, you train. <laughs> no, keep running the clip. Who's that, who's that weird nigga that can't speak? Who's that? He black as hell. Bate, man. Let's keep going. Holy shit, who's this gay nerd with the red? What the fuck is going on? What in tarnation? Bad minorities. What the fuck? Stop! What? What? I want to get another run. There right now. He punched there. Wait, did they say anything, or is it just a revisit of everything that happened? For a decade, you need to do now, but see, ooh, you same shitty fucking camera. For a damn decade. Call me the N word, watch. You are an N Okay, yeah, we do. Go to Myron now, you got competition. <laughs> That's true, both of you guys, both of you guys are, it's like I'm being outdone. I Nick Fuentes was a leader of a far right movement and uh, Just Pearly thinks, I will say, Just Pearly thinks orange does look good on you. I'm glad you took Britney's advice. Jesus. I do think it's funny that the only time you decide to groom yourself is for a clan meeting. But hey, if that's the kind of high value man you want to attract, go girlfriend. Now let's fucking do it. Hey guys, when we speak, everyone raise no, your hand. No, raise no, your no, hand. No, no, no. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. So we take turns. No, 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 Nick, no, 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 no. Kidding, kidding. I can't fuck? do it. Yeah. That yeah, doesn't really add much because things fresh and fit is going to get banned on YouTube soon. I don't think that YouTube ever does cross-platform bans. I don't think they would ever do that. <clears throat> Overt. 
so you can't really point it out, right? Everyone tells you, no, it's not there, it's not there. Even though you have Unless a- Unless they start getting like, uh, like a crazy amount of attention. Okay, I'm good on that. Okay, what do you want to talk about next? I'm good. You have nothing you want to talk about? I did, but you're giving me an attitude. Ah, okay. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else? You just seem like you don't want me to be here. I don't and which have, is weird you have the you attitude right me. now. No, you have the attitude and you're projecting it onto me, which is fine. If you're upset, that's okay. I'm not upset at all. I'm chilling. Okay. I'll let you do your thing. Okay. You didn't even drink your coffee. I'm taking this. Yeah, the cup? Mug. Okay, have fun. Be careful. Jesus. Hello? <laughs> with me or not i don't know if you're trolling or not right now okay you're triggering me good i decided to come back okay well we're watching this whole video now so you're gonna sit here for six and a half minutes like a grumpy f on your phone while we finish it okay headphones? yeah you can hey oh oh that's that, 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 that i like that what my head i'm working on it you're gonna be patient now okay we got these running like it's an employment line what the f what don't do that i will find you you fucking stinky looking piece of shit you go fucking back right here i don't like you already I, I don't know how you guys did it but you guys made a more embarrassing response than h3h3 by like a long mile never ever compare that myron dude to them fucking jews you motherfucker whoa 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 whoa, whoa. is this a character Th this this is this is not i was representative. born this way you Keep going, Come on. No, I don't think they do. So you damn right there, high value man. They say more seven lies minutes. Than monkey asses have. What the fuck are you niggas doing? Y'all sitting there in an entire ass room. I'm sitting next to a fucking monkey with dreads for a decade. You niggas to do now, but see, ooh, you same shitty fucking camera for a damn decade. Same shitty road mic right there that looks like a penis forever. You guys have not proved nothing, and you fucking niggas, millionaires, not invested back in the business, get called out by a fucking rank KKK member out of Tennessee. You motherfuckers are losers. I'm roasting y'all right now. Continue on, Ching. Yes. Okay. Many that nigga sound like he got a 39 IQ. Holy shit. I don't know how this guy preaches. Take it seriously. Like, this nigga is fucking stupid. Say Albanian nigga yesterday said something about, shut the fuck up, you fucking <laughs> You stupid nigga not showing the women that y'all are with not one time. Last time I checked that Myron nigga got like three or four girlfriends, okay? And they're friends with each other. Or they would hurt our fan base. But if you're secure in who you are. No, your fan base is a bunch of low IQ feminist f that can't take it when you get fit. What does he do? He actually gets fresh and most importantly, fit. That fresh fit nigga helping everybody get in a goddamn shape. This guy is totally unhinged. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean I'm unhinged? You should call me the N word. Watch. You are an Okay, yeah, we do like 10 sets of burn, uh, cross burnings. And, and here's the thing, I'm gonna continue to roast them. They're gonna sit there and say, I'm okay, let's go. 10 toes down, I will roast you motherfuckers until the end. You fucking homies got nothing else. Yeah, I think I caught a little. That was a little hardcore. This is a little hardcore even for me. I'm glad you didn't show up in a, in a white hood, Nick. That would have optics, you know? I was gonna do the MAGA hat, but it just it wouldn't go as hard as the white hood, so... Nick, your followers are going to Myron now. You got competition. <laughs> That's true. Both of you guys. Both of you guys are... It's like I'm being outdone. I thought I went pretty hard in November. You got, you and it's got like, Myron leading the dissident right now. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of... It's an Albanian and a black guy. <laughs> gonna out... Yeah. It goes to show how things have changed, because I remember when Dave Chappelle did the Clayton Bisbee, Bigsby shit back in the day, it was fucking hilarious, but nowadays you do that shit, they're like, oh my god, just goes to show how pussified we've become. I After looking at that Donkey Kong photo, I can conclude that he's also a monkey. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Like, bro, I, I'm, like, I'm ready to end them, like, they want to go here and say, you're a Myron, cool. Cool. The fucking Arab guy that's also black, that literally- Did he like, lose his voice I, yelling? So yeah, they also changed their whole YouTube K channel. Cool, you fucking. If you're wondering who the white dude in the top left is, that's a white supremacist. 
Nick Fuentes, who's the leader of a far right <laughs> They're movement. They're unhinged right and, now. And uh, just pearly thinks, I will say, just pearly thinks orange does look good on you. I'm glad you took Britney's advice. I do think it's funny that the only time you decide to groom yourself is for a clan meeting. But hey, if that's the kind of high value man you want to attract, go girlfriend. Now let's fucking do it. Hey guys, when we speak, everyone raise no, your hand. No, raise no, your no, hand. No, no, no. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. So we no, take no. turns. No, 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 Nick, no, 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 no. Heading, heading. I can't fuck? do it. Yeah. What the fuck? I heard that some of y'all were raising the salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Sneeko. For all rolls out. Oh, come on. No! We're done. No, no, <laughs> Let's go. No, no, no. Let's no. go. We're down Let's for do whatever. It. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you realize how dumb everyone has to be that when you're in a room full of people that somehow just pearly things seems to be the smartest person you see her sliding off screen like what the fuck am i associating myself with <laughs> y'all know how dumb you have to be to make pearls sound smart yeah i mean hey listen if you want to throw away your youtube channel in the dumbest way how do you think possible. Sneeko feels about it? Sneeko is like the kid you know how they're always like gang movies where there's like one kid that's like kind of good or he's like caught in with the wrong crew and then like the protagonist ends up finding him and he's like, you gotta get out of here, kid. This scene's not for you. You know, like that. He's like, it's like, I feel like there's gotta be a Denzel watch. He's Sneeko's like that kid, okay? He's just waiting for like a Denzel Washington to come by and be like, what are you doing here, kid? Well, cool. You just cost yourself and your staff millions of dollars over one of the dumbest things I've ever seen possible. And also just notice, all of this rolls off Myra's tongue so easily. This is not the first time he's talked about this, about black people like this. It's not surprising to me. I'm honestly, when he started speaking about black women in the past, I'd already suspected he had negative emotions or feelings about black people. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, OK. And this just reinforced it. It's just like I'm not even upset. I'm just like, oh, yeah. At first, it starts with making, you know, talk shit about black women specifically and constantly putting them down. And, you know, sometimes there's valid criticism about black culture that I'll entertain. But then the frequency and the vitriol that comes out when they speak about it, you start to feel like there's something else going on underneath it all. And then when it comes to people like Myron, even though you can never point to it directly, because it's rare that it's this overt. So you can't really point it out, right? Everyone tells you, no, it's not there, it's not there. Even though you have a feeling, you know what I'm saying? You have no... But now you have it in full in front of you. This guy is considered the leader of the red pill. And you're seeing how this disseminates to a lot of his followers. That kind of hatred that he has for black people is instilled in a lot of the things that he actually preaches. You can't tell because it's not overt, but it's in the undertones if you understand what's really going on. That's why when I saw the previous one, even though a lot of people said, no, it's not. It's not racist. It's not. It's, not. it's like, do you really think that? I know it is. I know what he means when he says the warrior gene. I know what he means when he says monkey. I know why he's using it specifically for a black individual. But plausible deniability gives everyone the ability to be like, no, that's not what he meant. That's not what he meant. But with this stream, you just see it. everything that I believed and pretty much knew is confirmed. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want to shoot your credibility, if you want to destroy your movement, if you want to make the red pill look like a movement for losers uh, that hate women and also hate minorities and value whiteness for some reason, you know, it's in your dating preferences, it's in your language, it's in the way that you insult people, that's okay, have your movement. But when people discredit it and laugh at it, you're gonna be one of the principal reasons why with your behavior. Instead of holding frame, instead of being stoic the way you present in the red pill and handling your stuff well, you get poked and prodded and all of a sudden you unleash this? The reason why this came out is because deep down inside, that's the shit that you feel. That's the stuff that you really believe. That's how you really feel about black people. And now everyone else knows. Um, so, you know, if you're proud of this, congratulations, brother. You played yourself. I don't think there's much to be said. I wouldn't be surprised if the YouTube channel gets deleted. As far as them talking about hanging us or monkeys this or whatever it is, cool. Wow. Welcome back. How do you feel about that? So, does he think Myron's racist aside from this stuff? Because you think his content has like anti-black undertones. A lot of red pill content has a lot of black red pill content has anti-black undertones. Yeah. I still don't get it. So Myron's Sudanese, right? Maybe. So he's black. Okay. So a lot of people think he's like not black. Here's 
my feeling on it. And I think that this was, I don't know if he's being ironic or not. Do you know a guy named Low Tier God? Okay, I genuinely think there's a good chunk of black people out here that believe this, but I could be totally wrong, because what the fuck do I know? But Low Tier God describes himself as a new black, okay? And he hates black culture. He thinks that the rapping is gross, the language is stupid, the poverty is dumb, the drug shit is dumb. Like, and there's I heard a lot that, of that, but I don't think Myron subscribes to that because he even says like he doesn't like Drake because Drake is too soft. So he yeah, but that doesn't have to do with him being white or black. No, 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 I'm saying I think he likes more like hardcore rap. Like that's what I'm saying. I don't no, think no, no, he's no, anti-black. It's not, it's not about being. It's not about rap. My guess would be is that if you walk up to a lot of these guys, they would say that black people in general are trash. A lot of these types of black people would. They would say that most of them are hoodlums, thugs, whatever you hear on Fox News. They would say they would describe black yeah. people broadly that way. That's my guess. I'm not saying he's racist or not racist, or whatever. And Myron can answer for himself, but I, I think they would. I think they would largely. But you agree think with Myron it. falls into that? I description? think he would. I, I think don't know why would. I don't see him that way. Just based off like the aesthetic of his podcast, the way he has like the table. Like I don't feel like I. He seems very like kind of pro black culture. I don't know. Maybe I need to hear him talk How more. How do about you race. think that at all? What part of it seems pro black culture to you? I mean, first of all, he if he really didn't like black women, obviously he brings them on to dunk on them, but he brings on like a lot of girls of color compared to like the whatever Yeah, but podcast. I'm pretty sure they literally say like they will never date black women. Don't they say that on the show? Is that true? I don't think that's true. I'm I feel like I've seen, we've Almost seen, positive seen, they've said that on the show multiple times. I feel like times. we've seen Myron's harem and there's lots of black girls in it. I don't, well. Maybe publicly, but. We, they literally said on the show before that they won't date. Oh, he, this is part of that video we just watched. He said, if you want to date Shanigas, but we're not night Riders. Oh, okay. 